This is the Nikon D600, the company's new entry-level full-frame digital SLR, which is aimed squarely at enthusiast photographers. It's also the smallest, lightest full-frame SLR available. At the heart of the camera is a new 24.3 million pixel FX format CMOS sensor and the same X-Speed 3 processing engine as the top of the line D4. This allows sensitivity to be set in the native range of ISO 100 to 6400 or with the expansion settings enabled to ISO 50 to 25600. The maximum continuous shooting rate is 5.5 frames per second. In total the D600 has 39 AF points and of these 9 are cross type. In a move to attract wildlife photographers who may need to use a teleconverter to extend the range of their lenses, the D600's AF system is capable of functioning at f8, with the central 7 AF points remaining operational at this aperture. And of course it's possible to record 1080p Full HD movies at 24, 25 or 30 frames per second. And for videographers like the D800, there are audio in and out ports, so you can monitor the sound and adjust the levels manually. The time-lapse feature of the D800 has proved very popular, so we're happy to see that it's also in the D600. Naturally, making this camera very small means that there's been a few changes to the card ports, and there are two SD slots. There's no CF or XQD port. Nikon has also introduced the WU-1B Wi-Fi adapter, and this allows the camera to be controlled remotely using an Android or iOS app. Unlike some full-frame cameras, the D600 has a pop-up flash and this is compatible with Nikon's creative lighting systems. The D600 will be available from the 18th of September and is set to retail for £1,955.99. For more information about the D600, look out for our review on techradar.com.